Hey, what is up guys? Car Kings here, and today we are working more on the FRS. Today, unfortunately, Max is not here because, you know, it's Thanksgiving and, you know, he's eating and stuff. But you know I already ate and I'm full of energy. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to tear apart that suspension. I just took off the wheel and put it on, like, wood and stuff. I also put back everything in the front together. I tore it all apart because I was thinking, you know, maybe there was, like, any damage under the engine and stuff. That's all good. I just have to put on a plate underneath, like a shield little thing. Um, that's about it. But I think for now, for this episode, I think I'm going to just uh, take apart the stuff. I have to take off the coil and all that crap. Um, it should be really fun. In the front, I'll show you guys what I did, what I mean by putting everything back together. And I think that's about everything I'm going to do in this episode because Max isn't here and, you know. Kind of don't feel like working by myself. Although, um, yeah, that's probably the only thing that we're gonna do. I don't really have anything else planned. Uh, we'll see if anything else comes up while recording, but yeah, so I'll show, quickly show you guys what I did in front and how beautiful and terrible it looks. But yeah, so let's get on with the episode. Let's go. So as you guys can see, I had the crash bar off. I had this stuff off. I don't know what this is called, but the little thingy bob, I took this off. So I tore pretty much everything up in the front and I was checking underneath and yeah, it all looks good. So, you know, I put everything back together. All we need is an air intake because I accidentally broke it. Um, I broke the little, just like there's a little support that I think screws in somewhere. Right here. This is where it screws in and I ripped that off. Or I didn't rip it off, it broke off accidentally. And the odd thing about this car is that the radiator sits like this. It's at an angle. Rather than you know up and down, it kind of sits at an angle. It's just kind of weird and it looks really stupid from the front. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks really dumb. But I'm sorry if this sounds terrible because the mic is only recording what's ahead of me, so you're hearing everything that's bouncing off the engine. This is the fog light kit that I had installed, or I'm going to tear that out and because, you know, it's it's absolutely trash because I had to do it like a DIY. Well, I'll show you guys real quick. I had to cut like a hole in the thingy bob, and it's terrible. I don't know. I don't like how the button looks, but then the other kit that I'm going to buy it's gonna be, it's gonna get, I'm gonna get like an entire new thingy here. Um, I'm just gonna have a proper switch and stuff. It's gonna be amazing, but. So yeah, so let me show you guys what I need to take off over here. So what I have to do is, first of all, clean all this crap. And then what I have to do is probably take this out, the plastic part out, probably take that out, and then on the top, I'm take this out unscrew the coil over here, this thing right here. And then, cause I have to see, I have to take this out right here. And then the coil is connected to it. So I gotta take that out. Make sure I don't rip my brake lines. Cause if I do that, I'm gonna be really mad. And that's my exhaust right there. So yeah, let's see if I can actually fit a camera in here so I can show you, I don't know. I guess this is gonna be like a good angle. We'll see. Anyways, maybe cleaning this somehow would be nice. Look at this. It's all so bad. Jeez. So, I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod and yeah, let's make this work.
this is the thing that took me 40 freaking minutes to take off. I had a really hard time taking off those clips. Like I'm gonna chop it down and stuff, make it a bit more choppy, maybe like push it into like one minute. Um, but what happened was like the clips were really hard to take off, like they all just broke. And there's actually some that I don't know. Never do that to your own car. See, this thing right here, um, there were some that actually broke. There was like a piece where it just broke off. Um, I can't find it, to be honest. See, like right here, you probably can't really see it, but like the hole is a little bit bigger than it's supposed to. There's right here, I ripped that one out. This one I ripped out. I think these two were fine-ish. I don't know, I think they came out fine, but I don't know. But... What happened was, um, see, I guess it's probably because it's cold. Because usually in the summer, like I would grab the minus screwdriver and they would just pop right out. Today, we said nah, fam. But I got this thing out, and then oh yeah, and then I couldn't figure out one stupid thing. It was stuck in here, and I couldn't get it out. And then like I was trying to unscrew the ball, and I, it took me like ten minutes to find the right size, which was I think fourteen. And, and then it didn't want to, like, I couldn't unscrew it. But in any case, I got this out and order a new one, like probably in December. Yeah, probably December. But because for now, all I want to do is honestly just start this damn thing. So next thing, in any case, now I want to show you guys what happens when I plug in the thingy bob battery. I, I, for some reason, I don't know what things are called today, but I want to plug in my battery and there's like a weird sound, which I'm pretty sure it's the starter, but you guys can, you know, let me know. I'll let you guys judge on your own. And then, see, I want to take off the passenger's front side wheel and kind of take a look at that, what, whatever's broken in there, because it is kind of turned to the right. It is to, yeah, it is to the right. Um, honestly, I don't really have that much to do today. Um, I don't have coolant. I can't, we can't actually. We can probably just pour in water in there. But at the same time, starter, which I'm pretty sure is the starter, doesn't want to start. And I think that's about it. There's really nothing else that I can do today because I don't have the roof piece thing. The little see, it's just bare metal right here. There's nothing on the inside. Can't really put that together. I don't have the vacuum. My brother's not home, so I can't ask him because you know. He's eating turkey right now. No, I'm just kidding. He's probably sleeping. But other than that, I think today was a pretty successful day. Even though I spent, you know, like 40 minutes taking off a lower control arm. But yeah. Anyways, I'm going to plug in the battery. Show you guys what scary noise it makes. And in front of you, I'm going to try starting. I swear, if it starts on camera, I'm going to be happy. I'm not gonna be mad. I'm actually gonna be happy because you know I kind of want to start this thing. I can't wait until freaking winter comes. Even though technically winter is here, but I can't wait until you know snow falls and stuff. You know this car can make nice skid. All right. Anyways, plug in the battery. Show you guys a scary sound, and then we're probably gonna wrap it up there. I don't know to be honest with you, but let's do it. So once again, we are back with the shitty quality because you know, it, it sounds freaking bouncing off all the engine and all the stuff because the camera's picking up, it wasn't for, but so we're going to connect this real quick. Ugh. That was ever strong. But, you know. Now I know for a fact it's not because it's not fully bolted in like nice and tight. The car used to start like that. Um, fans are connected. Except this isn't connected, that's for the airflow, tubes, all hoses are connected. There, there should be, theoretically speaking, some coolant left in the system. Oh, look at this. This is such a pain in the butt to fix. But, and right here, when I was actually working, I actually... Shut up. What actually happened was, I actually was able to pull this out. It was actually more bent in, like... This thing's so cheap, you know, made in Japan, but you know, that's kind of good. And the camera's really having a hard time focusing. So, ugh. Ugh. 
too old for it. Look at all the stuff that I'm sitting on right now. R.I.P. But anyways, the keys are inside. That's why it's. Anyways, stuff things. Let's see. See, that's it. But I'm telling you, I can't even open this door. I'm stuck in the car now. You know what? Let's just not talk about it. Um, I uh, just, uh, okay. We're good. See? Where's the starter? It's this thing right here. That's the air compressor, or the... It is the starter, because this is the... It can't be this, because that's the... Um, oh, what is it called? The air conditioner compressor. So... Honestly... So anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. If you guys do want to support me on this channel, there is a link down below uh, if you guys want to donate, which you probably don't. We're all broke. But uh, in the next episode, I'm probably going to get my brother to take, come and take a look. He, he told me it's the starter. I'm gonna just, he's going to double check, and then we're going to pull that starter out. I'm going to buy a new one, slap it in, and then we're, we're going to see if it starts. If it doesn't start, I'm going to cry. If it does start, I'm going to be really happy. And that's about it. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.